This is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings, and I wanted to bring to you uh, back-to-back flights of MU Flight versus Beta Flight 4.1 RC5, which is now RC6, unless you happen to have a uh, specific flight controller that RC6 fixed, and it's in prep for whenever it releases. So anyway, if you don't know it, MU Flight's just an alternative to Beta Flight, and it's based off of 355, I believe. And it has the uh, IMUF filters. So it has a different type of filtering and different PIDs. And it has something called MU Boost and MU Boost Cutoff. And that acts like feed forward, but is a little bit more involved with the PIDs. Uh, it's, it basically changes PIDs based on your inputs, which is really, really cool and something absolutely necessary. And uh, feed forward doesn't feel the same so if you check out my earlier video on setting up the emu flight beta it is uh this is exactly that that flight so um th these are the exact same settings basically this is uh default with a tiro 69 toothpick size 75 grams up weight with biblade props that the tiro came with which when flying on beta flight were nothing but prop wash out the wazoo and if you're watching here me flying back and forth like that should have induced a lot of prop wash but it didn't and uh basically unless you fly like a complete moron not really a moron but you you have to induce prop wash with this it's it tends to wipe out any type of pilot error that you make and it um it flies amazingly well so that's emu flight uh as far as how it feels with the emu boost it's very easy to play around with there is a gain and a cutoff limit so if you set a high gain it essentially just jerks your any inputs you have just become magnified and then you can limit that so say you have a magnification of 100 you can limit it at 35 and it's really cool why am i landing so yeah it uh Basically, it has an input boost, like feed forward, almost exactly like feed forward, but it, it adjusts your PIDs so that when you do something like that, um, have the boost, you can cause oscillations, but it adjusts so that you uh, have a much better feel, and it won't cause oscillations, at least at the same inputs. Now, I tried flying beta flight in a similar manner, and I could not duplicate the feeling and it's really hard to describe other than it's just a lot snappier off center and it's a lot um, a lot I don't know I like it a lot it's also supposed to handle damaged props better and bad setups better and Joshua Bardwell just had a video where he didn't notice much of a difference but that was on a well-tuned balanced craft versus say something cheap like a tier 69 on the stock props and on the original stock props after 40 packs because i've flown this thing the heck all the pieces and i got some chips in my props and bad stuff so emu flight straight out of the gate just the way it installs i basically just had to lower my d gains a tiny bit um probably yeah lower p and d about 30 percent each and that's in that video the setup video and once i did that it, it just flew great like amazingly well i didn't have to change any filters and my prop uh, my motors came down without a problem now i'm going to jump over to beta flight now jumping into beta flight here this is 4.1 and if you were on my live stream which the video is still up as well and i'll link these down below uh it's the setup for that except that in the video i set my pids lower so there are now sliders in 4.1 and that's really cool if you are uh, tuning and you you like your tune but you want a tighter feel or a looser feel and whatnot i almost hit myself in the crotch right there by the way but um 
you know, if you want a tighter feel, you do the little sliders instead of having to set your pit, your PIDs and do all the math with uh, <laughs> just do all the math to keep the ratios the same. Because if you don't know it, P, I, and D are all related. So if you increase P by 10%, you need to increase D by 10% to keep the feel the same. I believe I have that right. And uh, so they made sliders that do that for you. But you cannot change any of the individual PIDs and still use the sliders. So if you if you add more P gain, then your uh, your slider goes away. And so you have to do it as a ratio of what Betaflight recommends. And you can increase your feel. So there are a couple of different sliders. So you can change your P and D ratio, or you can change all three at the same time. And uh, at first I thought, oh, I have a Larva X100 here which has, it's a little twitch here, and it's, it normally has lower P, P, I, and D off default, but um, when I set it lower, it was nothing but a prop wash machine. So I went back immediately and set it to default, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm quite impressed with how good Betaflight 4.1 feels, because I haven't come across a Betaflight 4 since one of the development versions, that felt good like all of them pretty much heat up my motors too much or they have a weird flight feel or my motors sound weird or i can't do what i want to do um that's been 4.0 ever since 4.06 i believe or 4.01 whenever they released four it, i essentially stuck with one of the pre-release candidates the development builds because it flew better for me than any of the release candidates or the releases. So this is the first time since the development of 4.0 that I've been really happy with Betaflight. And what I'm doing with these snap rolls, if you haven't noticed, uh, normally like for a snap roll that slowly comes out, you'll, you'll jerk the stick over and then come splat. Anyway, you'll, you'll flip the stick and back out of it slowly and that will give you a smooth roll out. Emu Flight, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't handle that snap and come out as well. So you end up doing a little bit more of a jerky motion. Whereas Beta Flight still gives you that very smooth, quick into the move and slowly roll you out. Um, that's the only thing I noticed that I don't like as much about Emu Flight. But that is something totally configurable in Emu Boost. One thing I did like more with MU Flight is that uh, the motors came down cooler. Now Beta Flight 4.1 actually came down really good, so I'm I'm impressed. Overall, I I could say fly both. Um, obviously, fly both. Try what you like. I am currently a fan of MU MU Flight simply because of the filtering and I get better prop wash handling. A tiny bit better. I like Beta Flight 4 because it really required zero tuning, gave me a good flight, and it has more options in OSD. And right now I'm flying on DVR, but OSD, the options are better. And uh, yeah, so one thing with Emu Flight, and I say it every time I flash one, every live stream, every, every time, set yaw spin or set runaway takeoff protection to yes because for some reason in beta, it's default to no. So if you put your prop on backwards, you will fly to the moon. That will not happen in beta flight 4.1, and it won't happen in MU flight if you remember to set it to yes. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm trying to land here. I think I wanna hit that skeleton that's coming out of my yard, but I don't know yet. And I'm trying to see if the prop wash is handling a little bit better. But don't forget, like, subscribe, thumbs up before I forget, and um, see if I can land this thing. Good grief. What is going on here? That's what I meant with that snap roll that smoothly comes out um, or you can go all the way around. Emu Boost, uh, even at the same rates, the snaps are so much faster with Emu Boost if you jack that up. But there it is. I knew I'd hit the tree. Anyway, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think if you try one or the other. And uh, don't forget to check the links down below for the MU boosts or MU flight and for beta flight setups. So thank you.